Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to another video. Well, as you can see, uh, we're like halfway done with our soybean field. I recorded two videos, one of sorghum harvest and one of soybean and don't know what happened, but it's a black screen with choppy audio so I guess uh, here we are so I will give you guys a rundown kind of of what's happened so we combined our sorghum field and got our second cutting of hay off and then like I said we're about halfway through our soybean field if we take a look here um, we got, where's sorghum, uh, 974.4 bushels of sorghum harvested. And then we currently have 854.2 bushels of soybeans in the bin. I filled both of the trucks once. <clears throat> and if we hop over here, um, the... International 1586 is currently on the rake, uh, raking up our third cutting of alfalfa. We did already get it swathed. Obviously, I have the swather sitting over um, on the other side of the shed there, waiting to be washed. Uh, the rake is going to join that, and then I'm going to let course play uh, bale as well, uh, just so that way... We can focus on harvest because our soybeans are ready, our sunflowers are ready, and our corn is ready. So we got a lot going on right now. So we are going to jump right into it and uh, head on down. <clears throat> so usually I'm getting about four passes. Uh, to a full combine and if we where are we here Here's where we are. look uh, we've had a very good yield on it uh, we also had a very good yield on our sorghum field so I can't really uh, complain too much about the way things are going so <clears throat> We are definitely going to rent a plow next spring, and we're going to get rid of these two waterways. Make this just one big, wide-open field. So yeah, we are almost at the point of buying cows. Uh, pretty much as soon as we finish off harvest for the year, we will uh, probably be ready to buy. Uh, I think we are going to take the loan from the bank uh, to do it. Uh, just to not cut too much further into the funds that we do have. Uh, I mean, we are, with every day, we go a little further down, so, um, definitely going to want to look at that. Um, let's see here, I believe that we should be able to take out some more loan, yeah, we can take out more. <clears throat> so... We did get the approval, um, which undecided yet. Um, we did get approved for quite a bit. Let's see here. What does it say? Um, so we actually got approved for 1.4 million, I believe is what that is. 
Yeah. <clears throat> so, we did get approved for quite a bit. Now, obviously, I'm not going to pull out that large of a loan. But, we... Beans that we did get approved for that high, we might figure out some um, more land as well as uh, some more equipment. Um, we might factor that into our loan and uh, see about maybe upgrading some stuff. Um, a little quicker and then so the way that I would figure it out is uh, figuring out how much it would cost for what we want and then take out the loan for that amount and then when we trade off the machines that we'd be replacing we can put that money towards paying off the loan um, rather than trying to factor in what are they going to give us for this, what are they going to give us for that we'll just figure out what everything will cost and then go from there um, I'm not sure that I, we're going to look at upgrading um, buildings quite yet. I think we'll just kind of focus more on machinery. If we don't have the room for everything, then we don't. I mean, we already have machinery that sits outside. What's a little more? Um, you know, it. it is what it is. If we have to, we have to. Um, maybe we'd look at getting, like, Oh, uh, maybe we'd upgrade the combine. Um, I don't know. Not too sure yet of how we would uh, quite go about that. But for sure, want to look at getting more land. Um, like field 143 here. Actually, this gives us 143 and 128. Um, and we'd do the same thing here, plow out all those waterways. Um, I would like to get these two, but we just... With our current machinery, I don't think that would really happen. This 113 we could pick up and uh, get rid of all the grass that's in it. Uh, this 110 here, these two strips, we could do 112, or sorry, 158, 159, 160, 141, 161, we could get those. Uh, this 138, like I said, you know, we could get some bigger fields. And that truck is almost full. Um, you know, kind of expand a little ways and uh, boost our operation. But obviously if we do that, we kind of need bigger machinery. Otherwise, it'll take forever. Um, like our fertilizer spreader, that would stay. Our sprayer would stay. Our haying equipment would stay. Uh, actually, if we picked up that field over there, we'd probably put in a second alfalfa field is what I would probably do. Um, a second one for now because eventually, like I've mentioned before, I believe I did anyways, uh, where our current alfalfa field is, I eventually want to expand our yard over into that. So... Um, We'd uh, do that. And our international is done. So we're going to... <clears throat> run.
on our rake over to where the pressure washer is. We got a little bit of water sitting there, I see. Got a spot in the yard as well. But uh, we're going to run this over here and drop it, and then we'll get this hooked up to the baler and get that done. Set that guy right there. I would have our uh, <clears throat> 4440 doing this job, but just uh, can't really take it off because we need it on that baler or on that auger so I don't really want to run this guy on our auger so we'll let course play run this guy and then once course play is done then I'll come back and see just how much of a mess course play makes of this and clean it up the best I can and then we'll have to get uh, fertilizer and lime on this oh, I forgot to reset our bale counter so we did uh, I forgot to mention that we did get 25 bales off of our previous cutting of alfalfa so fairly decent uh, it was only one bale less than we had gotten the prior cutting and as you guys saw it was um, pretty much full So, just about 26 bales again. So once we finish our soybean field, we'll uh, take this header over into the over to the farm and drop it, and then I think we'll move on to sunflowers next get those knocked out and then uh, from there we'll move on to our cornfield and then we'll be able to call this harvest officially in the books So while this guy's going down, so I would, let's see here, can we get, okay, so we could get 127 by itself too, which I'm assuming there's just a little grass strip in between these two. If that's the case, then we'd probably plow it out and just make this one field. This 144 is massive. This, it would be something when we're larger and just make this one big field there as well. Or something like that, I guess. I don't know. I'm assuming there's a strip of grass there somewhere. But. Yeah, those are kind of the fields, you know, maybe I guess we could continue branching over up here too, but with the equipment that we have, I don't want to get super far away from the farm for the time being. And everything that we have is kind of central right now, so 
It's kind of nice. It's not super duper far. But obviously, eventually, we will want to branch out. But. We'd want to probably look into getting like a low boy trailer or something. All our combine and stuff like that, maybe, but that would be the ideal thing to do. But that probably won't uh, happen. So in about 20 minutes, our baler should be done, and then we'll be good to go with that. And then we'll have our third and final cutting of alfalfa done for the year. Technically, uh, we can, I believe, cut it all year. Yeah, we could cut it all year round, but... After October, we're not cutting any more hay. We'll cut from June, well, May is when we'll first cut, and then I think May we'll get a cutting, July we'll get a cutting, September. Or else we can do June to August, and then October, because it's usually about two months in-game and we can cut again, so. I'm thinking that's kind of what we'll shoot for, because I want to keep it realistic best I can. I don't want to go, I'm not gonna cut alfalfa in December, January area, that's just not right. So we're going to avoid that. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to try my best to keep up with videos. Um, obviously with Christmas coming, um, it's going to be a little difficult. Um, I haven't had a chance lately to record, uh, we've been busy at work with our new shop getting done, so then we've been moving stuff into the shop, setting the shop up, um, we went through one of the days, we went through all of our semis and our trailers, and we had a bunch of stuff that needed to be fixed. So then it was gathering parts, ordering parts, fixing everything. Um, just crazy few days trying to get everything set up and moved. So been dealing with that. And then now we're finally getting settled the best we can anyways. It's, it's not completely done. There's still electrical being done, the floor heats still being finished, um, our parts and break room is still being finished. There's still a lot of little stuff left, but we really weren't going to wait any longer. Uh, let's go empty this. We weren't going to wait any longer. Uh, we're like three months past when they told us this building was going to be done. So it uh, has taken way longer than it should have to get done. And so we just said, well, you'll have to kind of work around our equipment. We'll kind of have to work around you. We got to get stuff moved in here and get going so
So that's just kind of how it played out. Um, let's go check on this guy once. See how he's doing. He's actually, for the most part, picking everything up, which is good. That's what I want. Um, let's see, we started at 25. Holy smokes. We've already cranked out a lot of bales. We've cranked out 10. And we're not quite half done yet. This is a good cutting. Which is good. That's what I want. We need lots and lots of hay. I want to be fully stocked up for the rest of the year. So I'm thinking next year we're going to do less of a variety on our crops. We're going to kind of just stick to a couple, uh, mainly kind of the big money makers. Uh, so that's going to be like like our soybeans maybe. Yeah, soybeans, maybe sunflowers. Those are kind of our soybeans, sunflowers, and then we're going to obviously put in some oats so that way we got straw. But we're going to do a little less of a variety like we did this year just to try and make as much money as possible. Because that is what we need to do to uh, grow this farm into something big. I mean, we're running this combine right now. Someday, we want to be running this guy. You know, and a 50-foot header... That kind of stuff. I mean, we want to work work up to something big. Get a big crop operation and big uh, cattle operation. Get ourselves set up. I do really like this combine though. Very, very well done by uh, Tired Iron. He did a great job on this. The whole pack, actually, I guess. Because I think from this combine, our next upgrade is going to be a... Probably like a 96 series... 9600, 9610, something like that. It's probably where we'll go next. A little bit bigger combine, a little bit bigger headers. Not too major. And uh, after that, it'll probably be like a 9770, something like something similar to that style. Just keep working up. So, 
You guys let me know what you want to see. Should we stick with a variety in our equipment in terms of brands? You know, kind of how we are now. We're running a John Deere combine. We got a John Deere tractor, a case planner, um, or I should say an international planner. Um, we got Gell hay equipment. H&S rake I mean we got a variety of machinery should we stick with keeping a mix should we run all John Deere all case what do you guys uh, want to see or mostly case mostly John Deere I mean obviously I don't have a John Deere or a case rake uh, I think I have a well, I don't even have a John Deere round baler. I do have a case round baler, but it's not very big. So, I mean, we'd event eventually we'd go to, like, Vermeer um, hay equipment. Or some, anyways. We'll probably stick with the same swather. Uh, just because I do like that one. Uh, you know, for one, it's a very well-done mod. Uh, and for two having the ability to cut and ted in one pass is very nice uh, it saves us time saves us a piece of equipment uh, so in the end it saves us money which is always a good thing so you guys let me know uh, what kind of equipment you want to see me personally I like sticking with John Deere just because, I mean, the farm I work on, that's all we run is John Deere. Um, I've always been around John Deere, always been a fan of it. But I'm definitely open to running other stuff as well. So uh, you guys let me know what you'd like to see. And uh, I will see what I can make happen. So, we're coming to the end of the video. I'm going to finish our soybeans off camera and uh, finish get the hay field finished up as well. And then uh, get that taken care of, get all that stuff put away. I'll get our grain head uh, cleaned up, put away, and then get everything switched over for sunflowers and then when we come back next episode uh, we will be getting going on sunflowers and uh, continuing on with our harvest and so we'll probably have a video or two of sunflowers and then probably video or two of uh, corn and then we'll have our harvest done for the year which will definitely be nice uh, so far it's looking like January for well, our oats and our um, sorghum are going to be most profitable in January. Soybeans are going to be most profitable in July, so we'll be holding on to those for a little while. Um, and then once we get into sunflowers and corn, we'll figure out for those. I think, though, um, sunflowers, those are highest in February. Corn is highest also in January, so... January is going to be a whole lot of trucking. Um, but when we're emptying our bins, we'll use our semi and our hopper trailer to uh, get more out at a time rather than uh, using our straight trucks there. So <clears throat> that'll kind of help. A little bit
That dip is gonna be fun. That'll take some finagling. But, folks, I think that is going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. If you have not done so already, be sure to hit that notification button to be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks y'all for watching, and we'll catch y'all in the next video.